I've had a very an interest in teaching from a very young age. I, I was at school and I was kind of intrigued by what the people around me were doing and how they managed to get across learning to children and I've, it fascinated me. And so I guess as I progressed through school I kind of admired, learned to admire teachers and I decided that was the right thing for me to do. I figured that the BA Honours route would give me a more general overview of primary teaching rather than going through a PGCE route. Plus I didn't have a specific subject that I really wanted to push myself towards and so the BA Honours route gave me a, bo a broader overview over a longer period of time into like the actual art and craft of teaching. I've lived here all my life and so partly it was convenience because I live locally, it seems silly to go elsewhere, plus I did my research, I looked at a lot of universities that did similar courses and I found what really attracted me to the University of Northampton was the job rate at the end of the course, the percentage of people that got jobs where they wanted them from doing this course was really high so that's what was really attractive. I'm an English specialist, um, I, I've always been interested in poetry, in drama, in reading books obviously which is good when you're a student um, and so I chose to be an English specialist partly because I had a good A level in it, partly because I was just interested in it. It's been a good course actually, the specialism course. Uh, we've done lots of practical things, we've studied children's literature, we've been to see plays. It's been really good insight and it's given me a lot more knowledge to build on my passion so I can deliver really effectively as an English teacher. I've really enjoyed the course at the university. Um, I feel like there's just been the right level of support and mentoring from when we started. It seemed like a natural progression from finishing your A-levels as I did or taking a gap year or whatever, from moving on to the next stage of your education, your career. Um, there's been lots of mentoring, lots of personalised approach from the lecturers. They've been really supportive and so I feel like it's been a really good experience. The most positive part of my school experience has been getting into school from such an early stage in the course. Um, even in the first term we had a taster placement in the school and so it really helped us affirm that this was the right course for us, which was really good. Um, I've been in big schools, I've been in town schools in quite deprived areas, I've been in tiny schools and villages and I've taught a really wide range of children. I've taught year one right up to year six and that variety has been really beneficial, really valuable for me as a teacher. Get some experience, any experience at all of working with children before you start the course, before you apply to start the course, just to kind of affirm to yourself that it's what you want to do. I mean, I did some helping out at an after-school club nearby. I, I helped out in the library, the local library. And I think it kind of helped me, even before I started the course, to realise that, yes, I did want to work with children and I did want to teach. And it wasn't something I was terrified of. The aspect of the course I feel that's going to be the most valuable to me as I progress forward in my career is probably the latter stages of the course. We've had lots of good advice about what to expect in our career and the pathways that we might be able to take, including doing master's degrees, um, working up the ranks in schools like to become a coordinator or maybe a deputy head. And so I think that advice and the really personalised approach that we've had towards getting jobs is going to be very valuable for me as I move on into my first year of teaching.